Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be a little more chill. This is a chatty, be warned, what's in my bag, eBay edition. So I purchased this leather bag on eBay and there's a little bit of story behind um, how I became aware of this bag. And I just wanted to share with you um, what it's like and what I have in it. And I do realize that because I purchased on eBay, there's not like an abundant of amount of them that you could purchase. But um, if I run into another one, I'll post the links below. Or if you find one, post some links below. Uh, but a handful of people requested this on Instagram. And so I wanted to just push record, get a video out there, and um, yeah, provide something for you to watch. And my husband and I, we moved. Uh, just one city over in St. Louis um, and the process of moving has been a l pretty much drama free but it's been a very long exhausting saga and we are feeling a little more settled so hopefully I can post more videos for you in the coming weeks but um, if you were wondering like why I stopped posting on Instagram or YouTube um, I just wanted life to settle down a little bit before I push record so this bag is, um, I became aware of it because a girl on YouTube was posting art supplies in her bag and I'm an artist and so I was kind of like, what, what items is she carrying? Like what's in her bag? And it was a really well done edited vi video. I'll post the link to that below. I'm trying to keep this in frame. And, um, she was pulling all of her art supplies out of this bag. And everyone in the comments was like, where is your bag from? Like, great video, nice art supplies, but where's your bag from? And she just said she got it on the streets of Italy at some boutique, nothing mainstream. Basically, you can't really buy it. So I used, what words, on eBay. I was kind of like Italian cross leather, cross body leather bag. And I kept scrolling and I saw someone selling this in England. And we went back and forth on price and we finally agreed on something and he shipped it to me and it is, it's not my normal thing to do because I normally like um, light brown, this is red, uh, the color leather that I normally like and then I, I like to review bags that you can then go purchase yourself and I don't feel like you can really do that with this. So I apologize, I don't think this will be a habit. But also it's my channel so I can do what I want. <laughs> I have to have a backbone once in a while. Okay, so um, here's just a quick overview. This is the front. The sides, when it came to me, it was empty. And I was like, oh, it's kind of small. But each one really has its own space for each pocket. So it can really fill up. A nice YKK zipper. And the whole pocket goes all the way to the bottom. And... This is where you're getting a lot of storage, is how thick it is. If you can kind of see along with my head, it's probably five or six inches in depth, but it is so charming. You can hear it. I love that sound of leather and an awesome top handle. Why a bag doesn't have a top handle in the world, I don't know. And to open the bag, you actually snap here and then it opens to a magnetic pocket. One opening here and then another opening right here it has a metal bar to support the handle you can kind of see even the metal I wouldn't say it's the best made bag but it still has so much charm I think it will last a while I don't even know what year this could be and then down here these straps are adjustable right where my finger is so if it's even more full you can adjust it there so let's start on the back do you hear the wind blowing behind you I'm sitting in front of a window in my new studio and I'm kind of like seeing all these trees freak out. There's supposed to be a big storm coming. <laughs> What's your weather report in St. Louis? Um, so in the back, I would say is the main space I use. So if you unzip it, if I, <laughs> there we go, it got caught on itself. Um, it's a pretty sturdy zipper. Uh, inside I have my Samsung Galaxy S7 phone with a pop socket. Do you guys know pop sockets? They're at Best Buy now. And this is the funniest wallet, but I've been using this nonstop. 
I can't tell you for sure it's been in any video. I got it for a dollar at a thrift store. It is genuine leather. I put my credit card on the outside ID. I put my ID and debit card in the zipper here. And then in the top zipper, I put my key fob and then I stack all the rest of my cards, which makes it easy to switch bags because then I don't have to have, like switch my wallet. Cause it's a small wallet, it can go in a big or a small bag. So that's all that's in this back pocket, pretty good. It gets really messy on the inside. I didn't edit anything about what's in here. I've been busy, this has been what life looks like. So let's just keep jumping in. We'll do the front flap right here. Tissues. Mascara. Why don't I tell you? L'Oreal waterproof, volume, voluminous carbon black. Waterproof, always waterproof. Uh, here's some lip gloss from Revlon. These Bose headphones. I need to do an updated travel video um, because now I use these Bose headphones and they're small. So I keep them in my purse every day. They have like this fun, weird molding. Obviously, you never want to share these with people. Not noise canceling, but it does have a microphone and it's just super high quality sound. I can wear it in the airport. I can wear them on the plane. It's not like this big chunky thing on my ears anymore. So that's cool. And then a couple more things in here. Chapstick. My favorite hair clip. Now, there's lots of hair clips out there. But have you guys ever seen it where it has like this mm, rubber on the inside? Really grips your hair. This is becoming a beauty video. And another mascara, because for some reason, that's in my bag, and every time I'm getting around in the bathroom, I'm like, where's my mascara? It's in your purse. Okay, cool up. Oh, sorry. This pocket is done, now we're moving into this front pocket right here. This whole bag's unlined, no pigskin lining, just a pretty rough Italian bag. Ray-Bans, these are from Mark's grandma. She bought them for me for Christmas, per request. Bam. I like them because they're very much a mirror. So when people are looking at me, they're just like checking themselves out. It's all good. This is a Whipping Post pouch, the small one. I owe you guys a review. And I'm just, you can just take a leap of faith and trust me, $68 for a set of three, small, medium, and large. A great buy. I use the small one the most. Some medicine, some ibuprofen, hand sanitizer. This is a clip up. I think I've talked about it before, but if ever you don't have a spot to put your bag, you loop a handle of your bag through this and then it rests on a tabletop. And these grippers right here grip the table. I think it's like $14 at the container store. Floss. And this is a tick remover because I have had a project where I need to be painting in the woods. I'm, I paint in watercolor and I've been out there and there's like ticks and I have never had a tick, but if I did, I don't know how to get rid of it. So my vet gave me this thing. It's, you know, you just gotta be prepared. You never know. And then some coins and that's it for the pouch. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Tons of receipts, and I'm going to tell you what's on the receipts because I'm not doing anything this Saturday, and maybe you aren't either. This is a receipt for some donations. I highly recommend donating to Catholic charities. Um, I'm not Catholic, but I uh, believe that they have a really good system to help the needy. I'm first free evangelical, so non-denominational. Not that we're getting into this. But as opposed to Goodwill, maybe donate to a Catholic charity. Here's another one of some donations. Okay, home goods, window treatments. Bam. Window, treat che window treatments aren't cheap, but I highly recommend home goods because they actually have the most affordable drapes with the best quality to them. It's just their selection's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, here's a receipt for a writing desk from Target. Um, can you see it? Let's see. No, I don't want to mess with the camera. 
it's got gold legs like this shelf behind me and then a nice wooden top because the one I had in my old studio was too big for this small room and here's another charity receipt this is Walmart this is um, I love Walmart I really do they have really cute clothes they're really cheap they don't last long but then your tastes change and you buy something else Here's some nail polish I got at a black tie affair. It is the Sherwin-Williams Cover the Earth Gray. Um, it was in my gift bag. And then this is the funny part. I have so many, can you see all this, keys? And I don't know where they go to. When we were moving, the builders, excuse me, when we were moving, the movers kept handing me the keys and they're like, ma'am, here's another key, here's another key because I didn't want to pack it away. It goes to my house. My parents' house, Mark's parents' house. I don't know why we have so many keys. And then this is uh, an eyebrow pencil I just bought. I like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe, if you were wondering. And they make great eyebrows. Okay, so that, <laughs> that pocket is empty. And then we're into the back. And I have my personal size, Filofax. Highly recommend Filofax. Um, I bought this on eBay. Why not? So I didn't have to pay full price. And I just recently got this really cute new pen. Can you kind of see it? Mark and I celebrated our seven year anniversary recently and we bought each other pens. This is a gift card to some fun restaurants here. I don't know. I've never been to any of these restaurants. And our realtor got it for us because he was generous to give us a gift for closing on our old house. So we sold that. It was on the market for eight days and it sold, thank goodness. And then we bought this house and he got us a gift card for that too. All right, uh, more receipts. What is this one? Lowe's, Lowe's. I bought some Gargettos and some LED light bulbs. This is Home Goods. This is for the entryway bench. I might post a picture on Instagram of these new purchases because this bench is like one huge piece of live wood and it's gorgeous and home goods had it this is from lowe's and i can't read what it says oh i think i know what this is okay i'm an interior designer i'm an artist here's one tip when you're buying window drapes buy your drapes at home goods buy your rods at home goods but i go to lowe's and buy wooden rings and clip the rings onto the curtains and run them through the rod and it has much more modern, luxurious look. They're easy to open and close. So they might add some cost to your budget, but totally worth it. And it makes your house look more updated. Um, okay, Lowe's, who, what's a toggle? Oh, this is, this is for this, a return. I have to return these and here's the receipt. I need to set that aside. Did we do it? Oh my gosh, we did it guys. The most boring video is over. How great is that? So, um, thank you for watching. I plan on pushing myself still to film more videos. I just made some purchases online this past weekend. So I might be doing an unboxing of that. Um, I've had something in the works for a couple of months that I haven't shown you and it's a bag I got in Canada. And just more to come, but the good news is I feel more settled. I feel like I can push record in my studio and put out a video um, because my life was cardboard boxes for a while there. See how thin it is now that it's empty? It's just a cute little bag. If you see one on um, the internet and you don't plan on purchasing it, please post a link below so others might be able to benefit from this bag. And um, it's a random purchase for me, but been a lot of fun and um, I think this is it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post leather bag photos all the time and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.